Hello and welcome to Shoot Create Captivate. Today I'm going to explain how to use the Dan's Dream Glow. So once you've purchased the session, you'll be watching this video and underneath the video, you'll see that we've got this little download lessons file icon here. So you'll just simply click the download file and that will download to wherever you tell it to download. And normally on a Windows, it's gonna be in your downloads folder. And I think it's the same for Mac. So in your downloads folder, you're going to have this zip file over here that says Dan's Dream Glow. You're going to double click it. And inside the zip file, you're going to see Dan's Dream Glow.atn. Now, I would say open Photoshop in the meantime. I've got it open now. All I'm going to do is just double click this file. Okay, and Photoshop opens automatically. Now nothing's going to happen right now until I load an image. So let's go and pick an image from my desktop as an example of how this glow works. So let's have a look at perhaps this image over here, Autumn Mother and Son. And this is a completed edit. For those of you who've watched the session, you'll know that this was the end of that session and this is the edit that I delivered or the edit that we landed up with. But now I want to add in that extra dreamlike quality to the images, okay? I haven't done this before because it's been a bit of a project that I've been working on and I've been trying to discover how to best uh, implement this dream glow as an action. And all we're going to do now, you can actually see here it doubled up. I don't need both of those. So I've already had it loaded in. So when you open up Photoshop, you're going to have your actions panel loaded here and it says Dan's Dream Glow. If you don't see this action panel, all you're going to do is go, to, go over to Windows and go to Actions or press Alt F9 and it'll appear in this, in this area over here of Photoshop. So all we're going to do now is just run this Dan's Dream Dreamy Glow. Press Play. And it will stop there for a moment and it'll say mask off glow where you don't want the effect to be so paint with a black brush on the mask with a 20 percent flow so that's very simple you can already see there's a dream like quality across the entire image okay that's that dream quality dream glow that i'm that i'm presenting here so what we're going to do is tap on our brush tool and i'm going to size it up to about the size of their heads or maybe just a little bit bigger and I want to paint that effect off of their faces just a tad, okay? So we're going to come over to our mask on this layer here. Tap it once. And I'm just going to paint with a very low flow, as I said before, of about 20%. And I'm just going to take that effect off of their faces. And, you know, maybe off of other areas where I don't feel like the glow is appropriate. But there we go. So before and after before and after what it has done it's added some extra contrast to the image at the same time but you have got control over that contrast okay i developed this in a way that you can actually edit everything in terms of how it presents the glow okay so what we're going to do is double tap on the shadows and highlights over here so double tap it and it's going to bring up this dialog box here and it says shadows amount so you can decrease them or you can increase them so you can bring back those darkened shadows if need be i think in this case here it looks nice and you can also recover highlights at the same time we're going to have a look at this in more detail in a moment when i bring up another image but there you go folks that's the first edit over here so before and after it just adds that lovely dreamlike quality to the image. Now, this works particularly well because I've dodged and burned the image the way I wanted to. So those shadows and highlights are well presented in the image, okay? Remember, like I said, this is added at the end of the process, okay? Before and after, before and after. Right, let's look at another image. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull up this image over here of Amy. This was at the Husky shoot that we done. So I'm just going to open up the image in Photoshop. And 
and we are going to run the action again. So just press play. We ignore the stop here. So we'll just press stop. And again, just paint off that glow off of her face where we don't want it to introduce too much of a glow. So we'll tap on our mask layer here. Make sure we've got black selected as our paintbrush. And I'm just gonna size up my brush about the size of her face, okay? Maybe a little bit smaller. And I'm just gonna make sure that my hardness is set to zero. And I've got a flow set to 20%. And I'm just going to take it off of her face just that tiny bit, okay? There we go. So before and after, it's adding this beautiful glow to the image. Now again, like I said, you can actually come in and control the highlights and shadows. So let's have a look at those highlights, these highlights here on her, her curls. And here on the top here, you can actually see when I ramp this up, it's bringing back some of those details in those areas. So increasing it, decreasing it, increase, decrease. You can decrease the shadows more, or you can open up the shadows more. Like that. Okay, so let's leave it at about 50% here and okay. And the great thing about this glow filter is that you can reapply it several times. Okay, so let's flatten this image and run it again. You can run it as many times as you want until you get the glow that you want. Okay, so again, painting it off of the face here. And we've added that extra sense of glow even further. There we go, folks. Very, very simple. And you can apply it to any image that you've done before. Okay, let's have a look at my gills in the lavender field. You'll know that this is a perfectly uh, completed image. We've taken out all the distractions and we've really gone to town on this edit. But now we want to add in that extra Dan's dreamy glow. So again, run the action. And there we go. It's created this beautiful soft nature to the image. Okay. This might work well for newborns, for example. So I'm just going to drop the opacity here, for example, and it just paint it off of their faces just a little bit again with that 20% flow and just reducing the effect off of them. There we go. Let's have a look at one final image. We'll do a studio glow. So we bring up this one over here. Okay. This again was from a recent session that we've done. And what I want to do is run the action on this image. Here we go, here we go. And look at that beautiful glow across the image. Now, because of the graduated filter of the background, or nature rather, of the background, you can see there's some banding introduced here. But that's no problem. What we're going to do is click on the layer mask over here. And we're just going to invert the layer mask. So press Control I or Command I if you're on a Mac. And all I want to do is just add that glow to this dress, not to the rest of the image here, okay? So we'll come in and just make sure that this time we're painting with white because we've inverted the mask here and hidden that effect. And I'm just going to very lightly paint over the dress and over the areas where I want to have that beautiful glow. Look at that, okay? Maybe on the hair here, for example just creating that very soft nature to the image, okay? Now again, you can come in and control the highlights and shadows, all right? So we can boost up the shadows if we want to, and we can drop the highlights if we wanted to, and press OK. So let's have a look at the end result. So before and after, look at that soft, subtle feeling, okay? You've got to kind of feel your way through this process of using the Dream Glow where it's appropriate. You're not going to use it on all images. You might use it in small amounts, but it's there for you to get creative and create a certain mood to your images. We've gone through three images right now, and we can go through many, many more, just applying the same filter. 
uh, let's take a look at, for example, let's have a look at this one here. Press play. And look at that dreamlike quality. Okay, it's enhanced those background mistiness. And all we're going to do is just paint off the effect from the faces, literally like that. Maybe on the hand here, on the hands as such. And zoom out. And again, before and after. You can see that's created a lot of shadows here again. So you can also just simply reduce the opacity. And you can come back into the shadows and highlights. And you can just pump up those shadows, just bring those shadow details back again. So there we go. It's just creating that little subtle blur to the image. Or glow rather, not blur. <laughs> glow. Right, there we go. So I hope this is going to introduce another level of creativity to your images. It really works well across a lot of images. And particularly the end results of how I edit with that lovely beautiful dodge and burn understanding beautiful light and creating that soft dreamy quality to the image and just ending ending it off with the Dan's dream glow uh, maybe we'll try another one over here everybody knows this image let's press Dan's dream glow to it and watch how this becomes even further magical look at that Again, the soft, beautiful glow to the image. Okay, might be quite aggressive here. Just a matter of opacity and a matter of taste. Okay. You could keep it at 100% and just simply tap on the mask here. Switch it back to black. And just paint it off of her face a little bit. And the rest of the body maybe. You can also obviously set your own flow of the brush. And just take it off of her very very softly on that mask so before and after folks thank you very much for tuning in today it was a quick sh a quick session rather to explain how to use the dan's dream glow action for photoshop thank you very much again for all the massive support i really appreciate it and we have more actions coming in the pipeline and i can't wait to share it with you all Bye for now.